Hey, hey, it's Lisa G, and I'm back today with part two of our envelope junk journal series. Uh, this is where we are going to add our pages and do a little bit of decorating before tackling our stack of envelopes and our uh, little hidden pockets. Um, I'd like to start by saying welcome to anyone that's new here and hasn't been with us before. And welcome back to anyone who has been here before with us and, you know, has come back to see us again. We appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I would love it if you guys would take a minute uh, to subscribe to the channel if you like what you see here today. And, of course, any comments, ideas, and feedback are welcome. And I do try to answer each and every comment, so feel free to leave them for me, okay? Um, so we've got our envelope journal that we started the other day. And uh, I will leave a link to part one uh, in the description box below, so... Uh, you can go check it out, and so far what we've done is we've married our envelopes together, and then we have um, married our uh, stack of envelopes onto this piece. And so, of course, you know, the whole thing, in case you can see this, all folded out, and it goes, it's kind of accordioned in there. Um, so we've also mailed, uh, glued on our ribbon, and we'll cover that here in a minute. Uh, but what we're going to do first is we are going to add um, a couple of pieces. I have gone ahead and uh, cut them and gotten them ready to go. I think that's just an extra. But uh, I think I am going to, for this piece over here... I think we're going to use this one. And, yeah, I think I'll just leave it just like that. And I've uh, gone through and inked the edges a little bit. And, of course, uh, with this kit, it was already inked a little bit. Uh, with the way that I made the, the pages. So, we will just go through here. And we're going to add our glue. And I've got, uh, I've got our signature ready. And we're going to do that this afternoon. That'll be part of part two, I hope. Uh, And I'll probably put either some tags or, you know, maybe a little pocket with some tags back here. And we'll let this all dry real fast. Um, and then we will decorate these here in a little bit. I think I'm going to put this guy right here. And I might make a frame. Or even just... I wonder if I have a... Hmm. Let me see what I have here. I think I have somewhere a gold pen. And I bet. Oh, this will be even better. It's kind of a coppery colored pen. Let's see if this will work. If we can go around the edge of this. for a minute and then we'll come back and we'll tack that down we'll probably have to use some double-sided tape for that one and then you know here in a little while we'll uh, come in here and decorate some of these and create our little pockets and clips and stuff um 
But before we go much further, I wanted to come in here and decide what kind of pages I wanted right in here. And I think I might even uh, let's see. I might even take out the Not sure I want that one. Let's see. I might want that one for that side. This one for this side. And maybe we'll do this. And they'll grady, be gradient to, towards each other. Alright. And then we'll put our signature in right here. And we're going to do that here in a few minutes. But it'll be easier for us to make these pages if we do them now. And let's see. I want this piece over here. So I'm going to find my pencil. And we will cut these off. Let's see. Instead of about there. go all the way across because we'll need it to go all the way across. And we'll save these for other things, these little offcuts. Alright. We'll do the same for this one. Let's see. We want this piece in here. There you are. All right, let's use a little bit of this. Let's see. I'll put this in here till we get ready for it. I have a tendency to forget to put my glue thing back in, and then all of a sudden, it's I've got to do a major operation on it just to get it to work.
Okay. Make sure to wipe off any that's right there so it doesn't make our pocket stick. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. It's going to be really pretty when we're done. I'm kind of excited. I think this will be beautiful. It's not going to matter too much on this because we are going to have pages in here. So it's going to, you know, offset some. Because once I get my pages in here, and these are going to be the other sides of pages. So here's our actual pages that will go in the, whoops, that will go in the journal. So you won't be able to see those pages until you flip, you know, forward or back. So, but we'll be doing those here in a minute. Okay. All right. That looks really good. Okie dokie. And there's what we have so far. All right. Now, I'm going to set this aside for a second. we can work on folding our pages. Now, these start out as eight and a half by 11. I'll tell you that. Um, and what I did was I just cut them all out and I'm folding, going through and folding them all in half and building my signature as I go. And I am perfectly okay with them being, you know, ever so slightly off. We're not going for perfection here because that's not the important thing. We're just having fun and being creative. But I'm going to show you my plan here in just a minute. But let's go ahead and get all our pages folded. finish that we are going to grab our supplies to hook our holes and get everything ready to sew together so give me just a second while I grab everything we're gonna need and I'll be right back all right now, let me show you how we're going to do this. Um, so, I've got my signature ready. Here's all my pages. I have my needle. It's a tapestry needle. And I have a good long piece. Whoops, tied myself in a knot here. I have a good long piece of embroidery thread. And I am using all six strands. Okay. Uh, just because I want to have a, a sturdy... Um, you know, you can use less, you can use two or three if you want to, but I just want mine to be really sturdy and tied in good. So the easiest way to do this is to take one page and fold it back like this. Okay, and I'll show you why. You want to use this side to make your marks. 
Now, let me find my zero ruler. Let's see if this will work. All right, here is my zero ruler. Get underneath this here. All right, so we want to make sure that everything is lined up. And I have a paper piercer here. And you can use an awl. There's a bookmaker's awl that you can buy. I bought this one years ago from Making Memories. Um, and I've had this thing probably... 15, 20 years or better. So, uh, but it is a very sharp awl, so just be careful with it. Um, so, we want to try to get even on both sides, and we need to do four and a quarter in order to find even, Stephen. All right, there's our line. Four and a quarter. Now, so I want to put a mark here because that's my center, okay, and then I want to do one about here, and let's flip it. Our zero again. I forgot this one doesn't have holes on both sides. And that doesn't help us, does it? Alright, about there. Okay. Now we'll, of course, want to line them all up on the. Um, I want to find my little rolly ruler. It works better. All right, so here's our actual. Let's erase that one. Let's put it directly on our line there. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to take our paper piercer and put it on that line or on that dot and then pull our paper towards us and push through. Okay. And we want to do the same thing here. Put it right on that dot and push it through. Right on the dot. And push it through. Now, we can take the rest of these. Now that we've done that. And we can put this piece right in the center. Which is not where it goes, but we'll put it back where it goes here in a minute. Or maybe it is where it goes. So we want to stack everything together the way we want it. And then we want to go back in. And here's our hole. And we want to fold this over and just work our way, just push it through. Okay? Same thing here. Oops. And put it in our hole. And push it all the way through. And poke our hole. And push it all the way through. Now, I don't want to touch those again until I finish. I'll take this one off because it's easiest to put the last one back on. And we're not going to touch these again until we do this right here. And we want to go in to our center right here. And line it up. And of course we want to try to make our little marks on the uh, spine here. 
so we know exactly where to poke our holes. Okay, so that everything matches. All right. And then we'll see how to put this back together. And as long as you keep everything kind of lined up, you'll be okay. All right, we're gonna go back here and we need to hold our envelopes because we don't want to poke a hole in our envelopes. We need to hold on to this guy because we don't want him to get a hole poked anywhere he's not supposed to. And it's not, uh, it's going to be hidden. All right, so we want to poke our hole here, poke our hole here. And poke our hole here. Okay. Now, that's the easiest part. Now, when we go back here, we want to open these all up. And we want to put our hole punch, or our hole poker, right back through that same hole. And line this up. Just like that. Okay. Now, in doing that, we can also poke it right through here, and that is exactly where we're going to start sewing, okay? See that? How it's sticking out right there? All right. So now, oh, let me find my thread. Throwing it down on the floor. All right. So... In starting this, this is called the pamphlet stitch. And as you can see, I have a good long piece of thread. We're not gonna need all of this, but I like working with a long piece, okay? So we're gonna come and we're gonna go through these very first holes in the center. And then we're gonna run it through here into this center hole, okay? And we wanna keep that so it keeps it lined up for us. All right. Now, we're going to have to come through this piece. hope that's about the right spot. All right. And then we want to pull through until we have, whoops, about, I don't know, maybe eight inches, okay? Six to eight inches hanging off in here, okay? Now, this is the trickiest part of the whole thing, is coming back through from the outside to the inside, okay? Now, we wanna make sure that we leave enough of a tail so you can leave a longer one if you, you know, if you need to. All right, we're gonna turn around and we're going to go from this side. We want to hold what we've got. Remember, this is still in here. And we can put this piece through here and fold back. Okay? And then, if we need to, if it's not held together, you can just work your pages. And let me make sure I get this on camera here. So you can work through your pages you know, one or two at a time, and make sure that you're lining your holes up, okay? So there's that one. And that's just, you know, I do this just to make sure that I get all of them. And then when we take that other piece out, it should all line up, and we should just be able to, like butter, go right through all those other pages. And see how they're kind of starting to line up here? See? There we go. And you just keep flipping pages and lining them all up until you get back to the center. Okay? Then we're going to come through. Alright. Here's our first stitch. Okay. And then we're going to come all the way to the top where this piece is. And see, it's still down through here. So we're going to hold this really good and tight with our thumb and our forefinger, 
okay, right here. And I'm going to pull this piece out, and I'm going to run my thread right through that hole. And if you hold it tight enough, see that? It comes right through, okay? All right. Now we've got to go back through this center hole, and if you've done it right, you should be able to pull your pieces taut and come right back through that hole that you made before. Well, here. I want to go through my ribbon first, so I make sure I don't put that through the wrong spot. Oops. Okay, I'll do that first. And then go through here. Because we don't want to cross these if we can help it. We want to go in right beside it, right there. Okay. And, of course, we're going to have to go find our center again. And then we're going to, whoops, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to work our way back through all those pages. And, of course, you know, we'll tighten everything down here in just a minute. But, again, it should be easier going through here the second time because it should be fairly lined up if you do it right. It's hard to do this on camera and keep everything where it's supposed to be. Oh, Lisa, Lisa. Okay. We'll come back and tighten it all down. But we're trying not to split these threads. We're trying to just keep them where they are separate from each other. So that it is easier to pull everything back through and line it all up. Okay. See that? Okay, now it should look like this on the back. And of course, we'll tighten these down. There we go. Okay, like so. And then when we get to the inside, we are going to pull everything tight. We need to go ahead and take our. We're going to pull everything tight. And we want one string on one side like this, and one string on the other side like this. Just make sure everything's tight. And then we're going to tie a knot. Like so. And then we're going to tie another knot. Like so. So it's good and tight. And then if you like bows, you can tie a little bow in here. Or you can just leave it dangling if you want to. I won't tie it for now. And then we will probably come back in a little while. And I will either turn these into um, little tassels or something like that. Hanging out of the end down here like so. Okay. All right. So here's what we've got so far. Get it back over here. All right. Let me put my needle back up. Mm, what did I do with you? Oh, yeah. You're over here. Okay. So here's where we're at. 
And this will be the end of part two. And then we'll come back and do a part three and work on our stack of envelopes and putting our pages together, okay? All right. So here's all our little envelopes. We'll work on those next. And, of course, we still have this to do with our inside hidden pockets. And we'll decorate this as well. All these will be decorated when we're done. And then we're going to come back uh, here soon. <clears throat> and then I will add in um, the front sides of our pages. Okay, so that we can you know, have our little uh, front pages covered. So far... Uh-oh, did I do that upside down? I do believe I did. I'm going to have to take it out and rearrange and turn it right back upside. Oh my goodness, Lisa. All right, well, so next time you see me, it'll be right side up. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us today. And be sure and... Um, Leave us a comment, and I will be sure and leave a link for part one in the description box, just in case you missed it and you want to go back and watch it. Um, but as always, thank you all for being here and supporting me and my channel. I certainly appreciate you guys, and I hope you will take the time to um, subscribe if you like our content, and hopefully you'll get a message the next time we upload. I will talk to you all soon. Till next time, love ya. Bye.